Right, when you have your feed, incoming feed material, which is, it can be your ore, which contains the target uh, mineral or the wanted uh, mineral. And that feed material, you need to remove the wanted from the unwanted. And uh, you can form a number of products, usually two or more products can be formed. Firstly, you can have a concentrate a concentrate is that material which contains your valuable minerals concentrated and that's your valuable product. That's what you want to produce in your mineral processing. And then you have the unwanted minerals. Those unwanted minerals are supposed to be rejected and they are supposed to report to a stream which is called the tailings stream and that is uh, discarded and it forms the effluent which goes to the tailings or the slimes them. We can also form an intermediate product which is called a middling and that middling contains both a mixture of the unwanted and partly the wanted uh, minerals. That's our uh, concentration. So the objective in our mineral processing is to separate the minerals and then you form what you want to produce, which is the economical or the valuable uh, product. Right, we have the control variables in our concentration. So the first thing that you need to know is the grade or the assay values of your feed material, right? What is the grade? What is the head grade that you are looking at in terms of the percentage or we are simply talking of the metal content. That's the assay value or the grade of the material. And it's important for you to know if you have that grade, you are able now to compute how much you have of the one end in your material. So your percentage, if you have 2% in one ton, it means that you can compute how many kgs of the wanted do we have in that one ton, okay? That's the importance of our grad. And uh, it also applies not only to the feed material, it applies to all the streams across the mineral processing plant. So you can talk of that middling and you can have the tailings, you also need to know how much of the valuable is going to your tailings. Then we have the term recovery. Recovery, it now refers to how much you are recovering from the feed material to your final product, which is the concentrate, right? That is the recovery. How much you are able to uh, scout from what you have, what you are starting with and then to your final product, right? So it means that uh, if you have a higher number of the wanted particles reporting to the wanted, uh, mm -hmm. wanted concentrate products, it means that that's a high recovery. It can be 90%, 95%, depending on the efficiency of your process. And then if you have higher losses, that means you are going to have a low recovery if your tails or your tailings product contains a lot of the valuable minerals, it means that uh, your recovery is going to be very low and which is not required. So the control objective in our concentration uh, techniques, we are looking at the grade, we are looking at the recovery. The grade of our concentrate is supposed to be as high as possible right? You need a high grade material, right? So it must be as high as possible, right? And then in the recovery, we also need to get a very, very high recovery so that we minimize losses of material to the uh, tailings. So mathematically, your grade can be expressed in terms of the mass of your wanted mineral in a certain stream divided by mass of the stream. And you can multiply by 100 if you want to make it a percentage. 
or you can multiply by uh, 1 million if you want to make it grams per ton. Then your recovery, you are looking at the mass of the mineral in the concentrate divided by mass of the mineral in the feed multiplied by 100 to give the percentage recovery. So the higher, the better. The lower, it means you are losing minerals to the tailings, which is not desirable. Right, so if you plot on the graph, you can see that uh, the graph of the material versus the mass pool of material that you are pulling to your concentrate, you find that the grade is going to decrease as you increase your concentration. Increasing the concentration means that a uh, lot of particles are being recovered from the feed to your to your concentrate, and that decreases the feed, right? And with time, if you look at the recovered mass per graph, you'd find that uh, you're going to increase the recovery, which means that a lot of particles are going to report to the concentrate and thereby increasing the recovery, though we have indicated that that decreases the grade. So let's look at the relationship between your grade and your recovery. You can see that at a higher grades, if you aim to attain in your concentration process, we are referring to our concentration process here. So if you are concentrating and if you are aiming for a very high grade, it means that you are now compromising on the recovery because you are extending your concentration time and uh, by so doing, you are going to reject some of the wanted minerals to the tailings, and that decreases the recovery. So at lower values of um, recovery, you are going to get a high grade. And also at the same time, if you aim for a higher recovery, you are going to have a lower grade. Why are you going to have a lower grade? is because the wanted material is going to be diluted by the unwanted material or minerals, which we normally refer to as the gang minerals. These are the non-economic uh, minerals. So if you have a higher concentration giving uh, a higher recovery, it means that the unwanted are going to report to the concentrate and that lowers the recovery. So in a nutshell, you can see that the grade and the recovery have got, has got, they have got an inverse relationship, okay? Right, so if you look at those uh, red minerals or particles and the blue particles in your feed material on, on your top right there, you can see that you have seven red, and seven red, uh, maybe representing the one end, and you have 23 of the total, which means 16 are the unwanted uh, particles. So in the first uh, concentrate to your left side, it means that you are recovering four, and then uh, the total in the concentrate, you have five, which means one, is unwanted. So you can calculate the grade of the material, four out of five times 100. It means you get the percentage of the wanted in your concentrate. And then on the recovery, you are now looking at how much you have started with. We have started with seven wanted material. And then we managed to get four wanted material in our product. So our recovery becomes four out of seven, and you can multiply that by 100 to make it a percentage uh, recovery. On the other hand, if you look um, at the concentrate represented uh, to your right bottom, you can see that uh, after the concentration, you managed to recover six wanted minerals or particles, and then you also have uh, recovered 
sum of the unwanted into your concentrate, you have recovered the uh, eight of the unwanted, which means you have a total of 14. So the grade of the wanted in that stream is six out of 14, which gives us 43%. And then on the recovery, you are going to have six out of seven, Seven, that's what you started with. Six, that's what's in your concentrate. And you are going to get 86%. Uh, uh, so if you compare the two uh, streams or the two concentrates that are being formed from the feed, you can see that the first one, the top uh, left concentrate, you are going to have uh, a higher grade. But however, if you look at the recovery, you are going to have a very low recovery, which is 57% uh, as compared to a higher recovery on the second item, which is 86%. Uh, Thus, an inverse uh, relationship between your grade and your uh, recovery. However, you should take note of the fact that our job is to make sure that we get a high grade and a high recovery at the same time, right? And that's a challenging job, okay? So how do we do that? How do we make sure that when we are concentrating uh, minerals, we produce the highest grade? If you're talking of your gold, you want as high as possible, take off 90% grade, 90% um, gold content, 95%, 96%, 97%, so the refining stages are meant to increase the grade of the material, right? But we have seen that the higher the grade, we are compromising on the recovery, right? But then how do we maximize the recovery and having a high grade at the same time? How do we do that, right? So in this uh, module, we must be able to answer that question. And that's what we are supposed, that's the technique that we are supposed to be uh, having. Right, so for us to be able to have high grade and high recovery at the same time, it means that the graph must be pushed in that indicated direction by that arrow. That's our control objective. So we want to have a high grade a high, uh, a high recovery. So if we push that curve in that direction indicated by the arrow, it means that uh, you are going to have um, high grade and high recovery, right? So when we are operating the equipment or the concentration um, plants, it means that we should have some strategies. We should be able to manipulate the variables and we should also be have a certain planned configuration that will promote a high grant and a high recovery at the same time okay so you will see that when we have some discussions on the concentration techniques you would find that uh, in some seconds you are going to have a first stage of concentration and the concentrate that you produce is going to be sent to a second concentrator for doing the cleaning, which upgrades the grade of the material, which means you're going to produce a higher grade when you do it for the second time, which is called cleaning, right? And then in order to improve the recovery, it means that uh, you can also reprocess your tailings, tailings from the first concentrator they can be taken to a second concentrator where you try to scavenge or you try to scout, you try to, to concentrate again, you try to, to make sure that uh, in the tailings you don't discard the wanted uh, material, that's uh, the scavenging part, okay? In order to try and maximize your recovery. 